it's Brendan. Welcome back to another video in Sugar Pink DIY. And in today's video, we'll be making bath bombs. Alright guys, and what you will need is half cup of baking soda, one fourth of a cup of citric acid, one eighth of a cup of cornstarch, and four teaspoons of coconut oil. And although it's coconut oil, it's not oily at all. So it comes kind of like in a paste, so to make it oily and liquidy, just put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. And then just start mixing. I like mixing with my hands since I know when my mixture is ready and it's really relaxing. But you can also use a spoon or a stick, whichever you prefer. Since my mixture needed more coconut oil, I'm going to add two more teaspoons. So in total, there's six teaspoons that we needed. And then I just started to mix again until my mixture is completely mixed. And once your mixture is ready, you should be able to press it like this and it should stay kind of like in a rock shape. Then you can decide to paint your entire mixture of one single color or divide it into different containers or bowls and paint them in different colors so you have colorful mixtures. For my first mixture, I want to make it pink so I'm just going to add three drops of pink coloring and then I'm going to mix and this should give me like a light pink but if you want to make it darker or even brighter, just add more coloring and you should get a bright pink. And then just follow the same steps for the second mixture. So for this one, I'm just adding three drops of blue coloring and this should also give me like a light or sky blue. But if you want to make it darker, just add more coloring and you should get a darker blue. And just keep mixing until your mixture is completely painted. Once you're done with this step, just add some fragrance if you want. So like for the pink one, I'm adding cotton candy. Or for the blue one, I'm adding ocean breeze. Then continue mixing it up until your entire mixture is completely filled with the fragrance that you added. Honestly, the fragrance step is just optional. So if you don't want to put any fragrance on them, that's totally fine. It's just that your bath bombs will be scented and it'll have like an effect of aromatherapy as well as it will make your bath bomb even funner. So it's time to put your mixture into your mold and for this I'm using a silicone mold with small hearts in between. And then I'm just filling every single heart with the use of a spoon but you could also use your hands if you want. Just make sure to press down your mixture really well into the mold to make sure that your bath bombs are fully shaped and to prevent them from cracking when you get them out of the mold. Let your bath bombs dry inside the mold for at least an entire day or an entire night so that on the following day it's easier to get them out of the mold. Once they're hard and dry, they won't crack. And this is how they will look. Honestly, these are super cute and they're totally different from the regular ones, which are in a bomb shape. And since they're mini bath bombs, they're totally fine for a manicure or a pedicure. Or you could even fill your bathtub with warm water and then throw a bunch of mini bath bombs into your water and your water will turn scented and will be super colorful. I feel like I'm overusing the word water. And here it is again. Here's how they explode and react in the water. And here is the time of how long it takes to dissolve as well as the sound that it makes. But of course, the bigger the bath bomb, the longer it takes to dissolve. Honestly, I love how they came out. Not only are they turning the water like purplish since I mixed the blue and the pink, but they also leave your hands super smooth. And see you on Thursday for a new video. And this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any of my videos. Bye guys!